When you're applying for or interviewing for jobs, you're competing against dozens, maybe even hundreds of other candidates with resumes and skills similar to yours. How do you cut through all this noise and differentiate yourself? Well, there's a very cool new LinkedIn feature in beta testing and you may already have access to it. Stick around, I'm gonna tell you all about it and how you can put it to work for you. Darren DeLuca here and welcome to the Ramblin' Recruiter. Want to find the job of your dreams? Subscribe, click the bell, enable notifications so you never miss a new video again. Go ahead and smash the like button and I apologize for the video quality. I wanted to get this information out to you as quickly as I could but I'm working from home today and don't have all my stuff so I'm relegated to just using a webcam. Watch all the way to the end, it's a short video. Something new and really interesting popped up on my LinkedIn profile yesterday, and I thought it was pretty cool. Now, it apparently is still in beta, so not everybody will have access to this feature just yet. If you're hoping to be one of these early testers and early adopters, it definitely helps to have a 100% complete profile and to be very active in the LinkedIn community. Want to see if you have access to it? That's easy. Open up LinkedIn.com and click on your profile. Now scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, to the skills and endorsements section. Here's where you can see all the skills that your connections have endorsed you for, but there's something new going on, and that's take a skill quiz. Take a skill quiz, what the heck is that? If you click on that take a skill quiz box, it brings up an additional window that gives you the opportunity to take a test or an assessment for any number of different skills and actually get a certification badge attached to your profile. The list of skills is very long. It's very IT heavy at this point, but as it's still in beta, that list of different skills you can take assessments for is going to continue to grow. It's fairly simple. You click on a skill you want to take an assessment for. It brings up a multiple choice test that takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete. If you pass it with a minimum of a 70%, you get a skill badge added to your profile. The interesting part about it, and I think the thing that will actually make these certifications valuable, is the fact that if you fail, you're not able to take a retest for three months. Full disclosure, I haven't checked this out on the mobile app or the mobile website yet. I've only seen it on the desktop version. If anybody has seen it on the mobile app, definitely let me know below in the comments. There are many different choices of assessments you can take. As I said, they're very IT heavy, everything from AWS to XML. There's a lot of programming languages, C, C++, C Sharp, Hadoop, Python, you name it. The thing I think is going to make these assessments valuable and actual evidence that you can use to bolster your case on a job interview or on your resume is the fact that you can't take a retest if you fail. Unlike a normal corporate L&D program where you can just keep taking the test over and over and over again until you pass, this feature only allows you to test once in 90 days. If you fail, you have to wait 90 days to try again. This is what LinkedIn had to say about it on the Learn More page. Important, we are currently testing and evaluating the skills assessment feature. You may notice improvements or changes to the skills and endorsements section on your profile page. For now, the feature is only available in English and isn't available to all LinkedIn members. The LinkedIn skill assessments feature allows you to demonstrate your knowledge of the skills you've added to your profile by completing assessments specific to those skills. A typical assessment consists of 15 to 20 multiple choice questions, and each question tests at least one concept or subskill. The questions are timed and must be completed in one session. I haven't seen any further info on when this may be rolled out more broadly, so if you don't have it yet, it's coming soon. And it's definitely something that you want to look into to help build evidence and specific examples of how you're better than your peers when it comes to the different skills you're interviewing for. In a world where you've got dozens if not hundreds of candidates competing against you for every job out there, it's certainly good to have evidence to back up what you say. For example, hiring manager asks you to rate your skills with Excel. I could say I'm an Excel expert and there's nothing to back that up so who's going to know if I'm telling the truth or not. Or I could say, well, I took the LinkedIn assessment on Excel and scored 100% on it, so I am an expert. Evidence always trumps chit-chat. 
LinkedIn is pretty well recognized in the space of professional development and adult learning, especially since they acquired lynda.com a few years ago. They're definitely recognized, so these certifications will be worth something. So I want to hear from you. Do you have access to these assessments yet? If you do, have you taken any of them yet? Leave me a comment below, let me know, and leave me a comment with what you think about LinkedIn in general. In the next few days, I'm going to pick one of these assessments and give it a try just to see what's what and how difficult they really are. So stay tuned for a follow-up to this video. Please consider becoming a supporter of this channel either via PayPal or Patreon. The links are below in the description and I thank you very much for your consideration and want to say hello and thank you to my patron Lynn. You're awesome. Thanks very much for your support, Lynn. If you're looking for ways to optimize your LinkedIn profile, check out the video I did over here. That should give you some great advice and tips. And the one that's over here, that's the one that YouTube thinks you'll like the best. They're usually right about that, so definitely check it out. Enjoy the rest of your job searching day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Stay classy, YouTube.